Hey guys, it's Zach here doing an update on my tackle box. Start with the smaller woodwork I got in here. Alright. Alright, this right here is just a little crankbait frog. I never throw it, so I'm not going to talk about that. This will focus in. This is a crankbait shad, shallow diver, maybe a foot or two if you're throwing light line. Really shallow. Uh, never throw this baby uh, anymore. I used to, but I don't really like it, so I don't throw it. Not much to say about it. Those two I don't need to say anything about. Here I have my wait for it to focus in tiny torpedo. Let's see if this helps any. And no, it doesn't. Alright, this is my tiny torpedo uh prop bait. I throw it during the rain in the small pond uh, next to my street. This right here is the uh Call it green tiger. I don't know. It's a rattle trap. I call it green tiger. I don't really know what the colors called. It's chart chartreuse green with the black pattern on top and an orange bottom. <coughs> and I throw it in the in the uh, clear pond, not the one across the street. The other one that doesn't have as much algae. And. This is just a little shallow rattle, shallow diving rattle trap. It, uh, I throw it during schooling time during the summer on the lakes. Just when I see him start schooling, I'll throw that in a spoon, in a spook. All right, got that out of the way now. Uh, there are a few lures I don't have here. I don't have my uh, two blade buzz bait with the dual arm, so it's got like two arms two things coming out with a blade on each one. I don't have that. That's uh, My dad has it right now. He's fishing. I didn't get a lake today because I was, had school today. But um, here is a uh, this again is a shallow diving crankbait. Four to five feet deep. Black chartreuse and orange up by the mouth. Orange is red. So it looks like it's bleeding. This is just the normal jig I throw. Um, I've got a swim jig, but again, my dad has a fishing right now. He's doing a tournament. Uh, get all these things untangled. Got a buzz bait with no skirt. Spinner bait with no skirt. I got skirts for him. I just too lazy to put them on. I got this for. Um, I I actually didn't buy this. My dad has it. I got it for uh, a lake in South Carolina called Fishing Creek. The water down there is really muddy and murky, and I like throwing this in the murky water. And then I got this crazy thing with the sparkles on the blade, and the skirt came off, so I had to put that on. Um, I throw this in the really clear water on Lake Norman and sometimes Lake Wiley. together. I would be doing this video on my old table that I did my last few on, but my laptop's broken right now, so I gotta use my uh, desktop. Right here are my two chatterbaits. This one is chartreuse with white, and it's got the golden uh, coffin blade. Same thing with this white one, except it's white with the uh, silver coffin blade. And Hold on guys, one second, let me spend a minute putting these lures back in here, sorry. But, uh, uh, we wanna, uh, you know, I'll talk about that when I get those lures out. But, uh, yeah, the lures I don't have with me right now is a shad buzz bait, um, two swim jigs, and 
I lost my buzz bait <laughs> two days before I was gonna make this video. It's in that hat cam video where I uh where I it was a hat cam video, it was night and I caught a bass. It wasn't too big, about a pound and a half maybe. But uh it was that exact same night I lost it. Alright, so this side uh has most of my soft plastics in it. Got some weights here. Got some little uh, trailers for my uh, um, bug bug bait. I think that's what they call bug bait. And then I got my popper. I lost my other two. Well, why it lost my other two? And uh, this is just my favorite pop popper. It's by uh, Choo Choo Customs. I've had it for a really long time. Caught a lot of bass on it, especially at the big pond where I made that last video. This prop bait I never throw, but if it's there's fish are schooling and it's uh, foggy or rainy. I sometimes throw this, sometimes, but not a lot. I got the Heaton Chugger right here, and this is really old lure. It's yellow with uh, the gray, like, I guess stripes going down them. And uh, red mouth, but I never throw that. I like to throw the Choo Choo Customs. And, and here I got a little Broke back rogue, I never throw, but we were at the pond and Wyatt's dad caught a um, eight and a half pound bass, so he likes to throw that, but I don't. Uh, here I got a little uh, rooster tail. I hate rooster tails, I've never caught a fish on a rooster tail, so I don't ever throw them. Right in here, let's see if I can get this thing out. I got this swim bait from Jack's Custom Baits with the. Uh, um, one fourth ounce darted head uh, weight and hook. And those things are really expensive, but uh, yeah, I really like them. White. I gave White a few. He likes them too. In fact, I gotta get some more. And then in here, I'm not gonna pick them up because I don't want my hands all slimy. They are uh, bumble. Excuse me. Uh, Bumblebee colored black and uh, yellow trick worms and you just Carolina rig them, you can Texas rig them. Um, those, these are some really nice lures. I like shaky heading them too. I got my uh, lizards in here just in case my dad doesn't bring his, which he always does, but just in case. And then I got this little thing. I've got a few of them, I never throw them. Right here. At the big pond, me and Wyatt will go out in the canoe, his canoe, and we'll throw th these wacky rigs. Just put the hook right down in here. And make that little motion right there with the where they kind of flap their sides. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Give me a little tips if you want. Uh, if you got any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll answer them. Thanks for watching.